First time cleaning the new rig starts now. I've recently come across this wheel cleaner that I've really been enjoying. It's from Eagle One, A to Z wheel and tire cleaner. I've been using this recently on a couple of the wheels and I've been noticing a pretty good difference. I'm a big fan of wheel cleaners because I like having super shiny wheels. And after you wash off a car, you sometimes get this like brown haze that I still have left over on this. So that's when I've been going ahead and using this stuff. Getting rid of all the grime. And now we're left with a clean, polished, shiny black. If you guys want to check this stuff out, I'm going to link it down below. It's worked pretty well for me so far. Cleaning that truck is absolutely terrible. I thought my X5 was not fun to clean. No, that truck, it's so big you can't reach anything and there's so much surface area that it's so hard to get that thing clean. And the fact that it's black and the water dries on it extremely quick does not help. But I will say I am satisfied for its first little minor quick clean job. I can't roll up to round three looking dusty. Now by the title of this video, I know what you're ready to see. I know what you're looking forward to see. The landlord hasn't given us the key quite yet, but the people who were in there last are like, yeah, come through, you can start putting stuff in here. So the first thing that we're gonna put inside the new shop is this S2000, and you guys are gonna see what the inside looks like for the first time ever. My legs after leg day feel like jello. It hurts so bad. I was looking back, and we have been talking about getting a new shop for like six months. I look back like for the first like emails about it. We've talked, been like looking at places forever. Do I told you guys it ta it took six. me to get that warehouse like almost like yeah eight months to solidify. Ooh. I'm just cruising inside the new shop. No big deal. Look at all, look at all this floor space, baby. <laughs> You guys better get used to this view because this is what you're gonna be seeing from now on. We have the S2000 way deep there in the back. I'm gonna give you guys the first initial walkthrough. I'm so excited to do this. I'm very honored to do this. We got here together and I, I here we go, I guess. There's still some things that need to be updated, still some things that need to be fixed. Just like the last shop, it looked like a piece of crap when we got it, but with love and determination, we can turn that around. So this is the warehouse portion of it. It's kind of put up into three dimensions. We have this bay over here, this large area over here, and then it goes around in the back and goes even farther. As you can see, this is just one car sitting in here, and you could probably fit like 10 cars easy in here. Not that we're ever gonna do that, but like easy, easy space. So much room for activities. So much room for activities. Multiple lifts. We can have a fabrication station. We can have a full toolbox thing. So much stuff. And this is all for cars. And you're probably saying, Teach, well, if this is where all the cars are gonna go, where are you gonna put Hunt Co? Where are you gonna put podcast room? Where are you gonna put the bathroom? Where are you gonna put the kitchen? Are you gonna do a kitchen? Are you gonna leave the refrigerator outside like the last time it was really bunk and gross? No, all of that changes now. Let me take you into the inside portion. So right here is where we're gonna plan to have all of Hun Company stuff. Everything shipping and merchandise wise is literally all gonna be in this front room. And this front room is actually a double door to the outside which potentially could be a storefront. We talked about it. I told you, don't get your hopes up because I don't know if it actually is going to happen. But this is kind of what we ideally think will be Hunt & Co. This is where we wanna have all of our shipping, store all of our clothes, store all of our everything, and do all of our pictures and shipping out of here. We can put like a backdrop up here so we can get like product shots in a full studio here. So much room for opportunity. We have a skylight now, unnecessary skylight, but we got one. All this open space, I'm not even sure what that is going to be quite yet. Are you hungry, Bex? Let's cook. Are you hungry? Yeah. We having dinner now? Yeah, we can have a little family dinner right here. So no more refrigerator in the warehouse. We literally have a kitchen room. We're moving in. Yeah. We could put we, could live here. we could put a, a table here and and some napkins and just real real life things. They we have they left burritos for us. What? Oh, dude, congratulations, yeah. you're the new tenant. 
have a shredded steak and cheese burrito. So this room right here, this special room off to the right, is where we're gonna be revamping the podcast. The podcast will come back alive. Boys, I know, I'm sorry. But now there's no excuse. We have our office back. We have our room back. The lighting in here is not good. We have to do a lot of stuff to make this much better. But this is where we're gonna have, right now we're kind of calling it the podcast room, but ideally it's gonna have our Twitch set up, it's gonna have live gaming in here, so we could be literally all over all the platforms, all the things. Big stuff's gonna happen in this room. This is gonna be changed very, very soon. Let me, let me go out this door. How about this door? Oh, okay, cool. Whoa, that, tri <laughs> <laughs> that tripped me out right there. And then here is another room, which will probably turn into more of a conference style room with like a big table here for adult things. I honestly don't know. And then there's a window in case you don't want to open the door to peek at someone. You can peek through there. This is pretty much where we're gonna be like throttle and hunt quarters, online like sales team and online everything is gonna be managed out of this hub. And they have an IT room which is boring and then back to the shop which is gonna be dressed up and looking so pretty. We got space! Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to that. Oh my god. That's gotta be fixed. So we have a lot of work to do, boys. That is for sure. A lot of work that needs to be done. But I'm extremely excited. little cove over here. It's gonna be my shit. Mickey's Cove. Mickey's Cove. Toolbox. Should build a second story. It's a nice table. It is a nice table for 1980. Oh, we're not in 1980 anymore. He was born before 1980. Come in. What you, what, first, first of all, first of well, all, first what, are your, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts moving into the warehouse? Are you my sad? My thoughts are, are you mad? Why are have you, you been wearing these shorts for the past five days? How are you gonna out me like that? Don't worry about that. How are you? Feeling? I can smell it. <laughs> How are you feeling, pal? I feel like I need a move right now. We need a move. I'm sitting here on my ass watching YouTube. Teach's beard is in the way. I need to move. Where's my key, Teach? I'm excited. I'm trying to make the, the, the hunt and coat memes work. I'm tired of all the memes that are on top of the memes. I'm trying to get its own memes. Solo. That's not yours. What's up, brother? Dude. It's some good space. That's dope. You wanna, that looks good. Wanna back in for, for a quick set? You should back in for a quick Give set. Give you a little tour, brother. <laughs> all right, brother. Nice. So this is like the main open space. Wow. There's a lot of cleaning that needs to be done. Look at this. But that fucking that needs, to, that, is? that needs to get fixed. Dude, this is nice. Holy There's crap. like so much room. Dutton goes on this side. Dutton, yeah, we'll put the Dutton Co sign up here. Some like some doors for Dutton Co advertising out there. I have stickers everywhere, dude. This is sick. Look at this little window. I can't open it. Oh yeah. Hey, can, can I have a, a cheeseburger? Back here. <laughs> cheeseburger. <laughs> should put like a like a little like McDonald's Man, sign over it. Keep going from this shop to the old shop and back and forth and we're doing a lot of stuff right now for round three at the old location just kind of getting together the trailer and I don't know boring stuff but I kind of wanted to step away for a sec and just say what a journey it's been making videos and sharing them with you guys every single day. I could sit here and tell you for the millionth time that I never once believed it would get this far. I wanna sit here and promise you that what we're gonna use this space for is gonna provide so much content and so much fun and laughter and memes and I'm just jumping at the bit to get started at it. And unfortunately, like it's gonna take a while to build everything up. It's gonna take a while to build the studios that's gonna be within like the office portion. And it's obviously gonna take a while to build up the warehouse. But I remember walking through here reminds me of walking through the other place when we just got it and how much of a dump it looked like before we did it and how fun it was to build it how we liked. And I'm excited to do that all over again and I hope you guys are too. And I hope this place 
can slowly start to feel like home again because I'll be honest, this does not feel like home. This does not feel as comfortable as the other spot. And to be honest, I'm really nervous to move into a bigger space. Bigger space means more overhead, means more money, uh, which is scary, but it also means more opportunity. More opportunity to grow everything we have and more opportunity for potential new routes and new discoveries and new journeys, which as I've been telling you guys from the start is the scariest thing. Yes, like it's amazing to think, yeah, I could do this or I could have that, but when you don't have it and you're taking a risk to do that, it's extremely scary. And who would I be to tell you guys that shit if I wasn't doing it myself? And this is me taking that step, taking a direction and finding new opportunities and taking a risk because without risk, there's no reward. Now, be sure to take controlled risks, not stupid ideas, but that's a whole nother idea for a whole nother time. So I just got to Mickey's house. We are going to a, um, well, we're going to a meeting. We're going to a pen. We're going to a thing by Toyota. I can't say what car it's for. I can't say what it is, but we're going to a thing tonight that's held on by Toyota that is extremely close invitation only type of thing. I'm not allowed to bring my phone inside. They're gonna check for phones and I'm not allowed to bring cameras. I'm not supposed to tell you what it's for. Oh my God. Hi dog. There's a dog and this is not blue. This literally. Hi. You are not blue, but you look exactly like blue. Come here. Hey, don't, don't jump in the car. Don't jump in the car. Whose pup are you, buddy? Hey, no, don't. Hey. hey, I literally thought that was blue for a second. Toyota's holding on a thing. I can't tell you what it's for. I can't tell you what it's about. I'll let your imagination run wild, but it's for a new thing they have coming out that has never ever been released, and I got invited to go see it before it's ever released. I'm really excited. I can't, I, that's all I can say, I think. But I have to change. The dog is back. Who are you? Stop licking that. You're not blue. Your fur is much softer than his, though. We're just arriving to the event. I have no idea where we are, and I have no idea to any any context that is about to happen, what we're about to see. So hopefully, the next clip, the next scene, I come back with some big news and a big smile on my face, and hopefully I can tell you a little, a little something about what we just saw. I'm not sure. Wish us luck. Here we go. Wow. I signed some bullshit papers <laughs> and I I can't say anything. I cannot say anything or else I'll get in so much trouble and I'll never get invited to anything like that ever again in my whole entire life. But I just saw something that the world has been craving. I, mm, good description. Oh my God. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna do a story time video about what just happened in probably months, months to months to come, months to come. I don't know how soon, but I eventually will do a story time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replay this clip. Be like, remember that one time where I went to that one thing by that one something, and I saw that thing. That's what this is gonna be about. Oh, oh wow, so good. I, you guys are like TJ. I don't care. I don't know what you're talking about, but. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you for inviting me. That was so, that was amazing. Thank you. And I'm feeling.